Whenever someone looks at me when I'm riding this, I feel very stupid and I don't know why. It looks cool, right? I don't know. I haven't really, I don't know. I think it looks pretty decent. Also makes it way more stable. The handling's the same, if not better. But the lug nuts do not go in correctly. And this could damage your wheel or other parts next to your wheel right here. But, you know, I have another set of wheels, so it doesn't really matter to me. I have to get some more lug nuts if they get stripped. But, you know, for the experience, this is kind of fun. And I don't really care. Oh, oh, that's foggy. So right now I'm putting grease in the grease fittings. As you can see right there, see the grease hanging down? That thing right in the middle of the screen, that's a grease fitting and I'm putting these on. But there's some like way in here, some in here that I can't reach. So I'm gonna take the tires off. I saw a thing where people can flip the tires and make their uh, four wheeler wider because the rims right here, see how out they are? And these connect way out here. But if you flip them around, the rims are like way more in. So if you flip them around, the wheels will be sticking out. I heard it's also not that great for the four wheeler. I don't know if that's true, but if it is, well, I'm only gonna put them on like switch for a little bit. So hopefully it won't break anything. I do not have a jack though, but I think this car does. I'm not sure. Maybe it's in the trunk, I'm not sure. But in here I don't know well there's a jack thing I don't... oh I think I might have seen a jack down there yep so under this we have this thing that's for the jack then we have the classic jack right here in the tire so we got this and this connects to this like that and there there's our jack The wheels off the ground yet? I don't know. But we're not gonna take them all the way off the ground yet because you still have to loosen up the bolts and it shakes uh, the four wheel or the Oh, there we go. Now they're all easy. Now for the other side. Put the jack all the way up as it can go and the wheels are like literally barely off the ground. Now I can grease uh, this thing right there. Now I'm done with greasing. And basically just to make the wheels wider, you just take this side and pop it on the other side and it sticks out because the rim is reversed. Yes, that's what happens. Ah. As you can see, the rim is like on the inside now. So it pushes this way out farther. Damn, looks kind of sick. This is how back the wide is. This is how wide the back is now. And then I'll switch it just like this. This is how wide the back is now. And I'll switch it just like this. Here it is. It looks so weird. This took forever to screw these in because they're on like Reverse, you have to get them perfect so they go in so they don't ruin anything. But look how wide this is. Oh my god, this the fenders literally don't protect you from mud at all. Look at this. The wheels passed up. <laughs>
What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. Let's go see how it rides. I feel so dumb right now and I don't know why. It handles like about the same. It's so wide. Oh god, can I fit through this? I think I will. Oh, I hit the... Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god, man. Holy shit. Okay guys, so always right here. I tried to do donuts with this, but I couldn't like, I would go spin around, spin around, and then I'd almost flip over. But with the widened stance, let's see if that happens. It looks so strange. The wheels stick out like a whole five more inches, so yeah. into the fender because I was trying to avoid the tire and I freaked oh my god I went to get off and my phone was over there and I went to step and get it and went like that not expecting the tire to be like six more inches out but those donuts oh my god they work so much better I'm not actually like flipping over probably because the stance is like friggin 10 more inches wider I'll put a little video in of me trying to do it with like the normal width of the tires right now. Copyright music, copyright music, copyright music, copyright music, copyright music. Look at where my tires used to be, right here and right here, like right here on the inside, like the most inside. That's how much wider they are. Look at the suspension, that's sick. Go over this rock with the widen the wideness I have to learn how wide this thing is because I keep almost hitting this tree because I think I can make it, but I'm like 69,000 inches wider. So yeah. Okay, it's time to do a lug nut test because I don't want my wheels to fall off and me to die. Good, good, good. Let's go do some more donuts in a different spot. I'm gonna put you guys on this and uh, I just found a screwdriver, I think. Well, that's, that could like go up someone's tire. That's bad.
There, it's in the woods. Okay, I have to put you on this. I gotta get this thing close. Honestly, it's hard to get any closer with your wheels being this wide, but I did it, so. Because this is supposedly supposed to be a racing four-wheeler. But really, no one uses it for that because they weigh a freaking million pounds. They are fast, but they have double suspension in the back. Most race quads only have one singular suspension. Double A-arms, I think it's what it's called. Four-wheel drive, so this thing's awesome in the mud. Poop on my face. Guys, if you want to do this, I I don't see what the problem is. Just maybe you want to check the lug nuts and the wheels every once in a while because I don't know. It's like, it's weird. I don't know. I feel like it look, puts a lot of pressure right here on this. Maybe it'll crack. Who knows? Who cares? Because look, da -da, I got two more, so it doesn't matter to me. But if you don't have two more, you might want to rethink doing this. I just measured from edge to edge, 57 inches, 57 inches. That's crazy. Okay, but yeah, that's the 57 inch wide Polaris Scrambler 850. So guys, I've been riding this elongated Scrambler wheelbase for a day. <clears throat> and honestly, it's not really that, like when you're going slow, it's really difficult to turn. And when you hit bumps, it like jerks the handlebars really hard. So that's one thing to know. That's basically the only bad thing. And it can break stuff, but you know, whatever. I'm probably gonna change it back in like a week, but right now I'm gonna enjoy it because it's kind of cool. Well, that's the end. See you guys later.